Keep it rolling. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. You on the bet winners today. What the fuck is that? I thought it was an Alberto last That was an Alberto move during an Alberto last Love to watch me fail out loud. Accept your challenge. <laughs> and then I'm going to say, welcome back, jerks. Welcome to another episode of MTG Magic Jerks. Uh, I'm Mr. Guy, you know, covering in here for Editor Jay because he he couldn't be here tonight, and uh, I'm I'm accompanied here by uh, by Tony from Don't Make This Weird. What's up, Tony? How's it going, man? Hey, Jay, uh, if you're listening, go ahead and uh, fix this in post. Oh, he's definitely listening, <laughs> and he's definitely gonna have to fix this in post. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> I was gonna play the fu. FUJ deck, but um, was that times Jay's, two or times one? Nope, just that was just the right. You know what? Either one of them, but you know what? Jay's not here, so I just I I really feel like I can't. Oh my god! Yeah, Jay, you're gonna see this in post. I really want to keep this hand, but I shouldn't, and yeah. I won't. You know what? No guts, no glory, right? I I was thinking the same thing, and I was just like, whatever. You know what? Good call. Good call on my part. Oh, yeah? Uh, which one do I mulligan? Uh, no, that, that one. one. <laughs> yep, that one. Good call. <laughs> Excellent call. Uh, so you've inspired me to uh, take a second look at this deck. Oh. And, and uh, uh, what what goodness have you got out of that? Uh, absolutely nothing, because I have no fucking land right now. <laughs> which is dumb. Because, uh, you know, you should never, ever start a uh, hand with no land. <laughs> no, no, that's that's a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, I had one, but it might as well have been none. I mean, what what is the rule? Uh, uh, one is none and two is one or something like that. I don't, I don't know how that... Yeah, that that, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <sighs> All right, we're going to do this just because I don't want to get hit in the face again, and I kind of wanted to gain some life, so there's that. That's not really life gaining, but sure. Uh, well, you know, I can gain another one now, and that's not okay. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> one. Uh, yeah. Oh, Two. hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah. I have the lands. <laughs> Oh yeah, never, never start with no lands. Yeah, well, I had one, but it might as well have been none. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, one is none. <laughs> one is we, none. <laughs> we've been over this. Yes, didn't we just repeat this? <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's let's just wait. Next. See, it's um, funny because now, uh, Dave's not on. <laughs> So do that. Is he, he's gone. Gross. Yeah. Oh. Gross. I kind of, think. kind of wanted one of us to challenge him. I know. I was really. Dude, the decks, the decks he makes are so dumb. <laughs> so broken. <laughs> I actually beat him one time when we were playing on Arena, and it was by an absolute fluke. Um, and I forgot what deck it was that I was playing against him with. And it was funny because, like, the next time we had chatted, I think it was the next day we chatted, he was just like, dude, <laughs> you got the perfect curve on land draw. You got the perfect curve on cards. And I'm just like, no, I, I just played what was in my hand. <laughs> I feel uh, like that. That's game. <laughs> Yeah, it's gotta be game. <laughs> uh, you know what? No blocks. Go on. But no, that I wanted to say thank you guys again because that was so much fun being able to um, uh, be invited into your guys' one year anniversary for uh, Magic uh, MTG Attitude, which was really surreal because before that I went back and watched that stream was great. Oh, that, dude, it was that so was awesome. Fun. But I went back and watched some of the uh, other episodes that uh, were like really early on. 
And I'm like, oh my God, I remember watching this. Because when I saw, I think it was right after we, because I think I may have had the time frame messed up. Because I think we did the interview and then like the very next week or next day, um, Dave uh, introduced Evil Dave to Paws Brown. <laughs> So I missed a bunch of episodes prior to that. So I went back and rewatched them uh, just before you guys did the uh, live stream. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is this is this is so cringy. It's funny. <laughs> it's so bad. It's good. Right. But that's the thing is, as your guys, this channel grew over that uh, duration, it just got better and better, even though a lot of it was still so cringy. And I'm like, it works. It so works. Keep doing that. I, I'm not sure what we do well, but um, <laughs> whatever we do well, it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man, I think it's so great, though. And, I mean, you guys earned it, man. Seriously. I, I, don't, I don't care what you guys say. I don't care how much you guys fight it. But the fact that you guys are – you're not faking the funk. This is you guys through yeah. and through. And I think it's – absolutely. So cool because you guys are like real salt of the earth people. You don't get that a whole lot with people that get just like a little touch of fame and everybody starts to know you. And then all of a sudden, well, is my limo ready or am I VIP? Do you not know who you're talking to? And I'm like, it's so fucking dumb. And you guys are like, yep, we're going to talk about dick and fart jokes. Yeah, that's that's kind of our thing. I'm like, yes. No, we really appreciate it. We then then that like I said, that that's kind of our thing is just dick and fart and and like the the basic jokes that just that make everything work. Yeah. It's great, dude. It's so great. Ew, gross. Let's go in with that. I don't Let's see what happens. Like that. Yeah, I know. Nobody does. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take it to the face. Cool. A Johnny just got bigger. Yeah. I hate a Johnny. All right. Then we're going to do this since this is getting a bit out of control. And he's just going to, oh, all right. I thought <laughs> you were going to destroy all creatures like Doom Scar. <laughs> um, as much as I would love to. Um, yeah. I, uh, I kind of want a couple more mana before I can do anything. <laughs> Oh, all right. Time to get wrecked. Uh, let's do that. Ouch. That sucks, bro. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that happened. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, we're not gonna. Play oh, that. there's Doomscar. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was coming. Uh, it's all just, good. That just got stupid quick. <laughs> we literally just drew into the same damn card. The uh, enduring angel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was such a, a cool stream. And here's the funny part about it. So, DJ Longhair, right? That dude's. He put some amazing round tables on. So when I finished that the awesome. podcast Thursday, right? I was like, I still got a little gas left in the tank. And I'm like, hey, man, how you doing? I email, emailed him and he's like, dude, get on the round table. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, get on the round table. And I go, okay. So I hopped on and there was uh, Asher or Alex. I don't even know. And then uh, MTG Gaming Bob was on. And okay. I've followed his content. He, he's got some great stuff. Uh, and we just literally talked for the next two and a half hours about literally everything under the sun. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that time uh, flew by. I wish I had been on that. Oh, dude. I, you know, and it's so freaking cool. Ah. That's good. Yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can take that guy. <laughs> I mean, I got a farewell, but that's not doing anything because I'm like six 
are three lands shy. That's game, though. Do G. <laughs> is that best of one? Best of three? Oh, no, that was best of three. <laughs> it was a total shutout. <laughs> All right, let's change up the deck. Uh, coming back at you with a best of three. All right. Let's do... Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, we already did play a game, and uh, like I said, I have the memory of a goldfish with a head injury. You know... Uh... Oh, so weird. You're showing as not online again. Are you serious? I'm serious. What the shit? Oh, you know what? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to play this. Nope. I see your challenge. <laughs> it's so weird. I guess. your shit. Wizards. Uh, all right, has, has bro. I'm going to give you fair warning. This is a slow burn deck because nope. uh, I actually beat this to uh, 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 go against Brian. He built a mill deck. Oh, and uh, it was funny because he's like, stop doing that. And I'm like, why? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I won't. No, no, I won't. Well, it was great because he's he's doing shit like this. Like, I'll, I'll show you. He's like, stop that. <laughs> and I'm like, but why? Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Go ahead. <laughs> But it was no, ab- it was absolutely hilarious because he's just like, stop doing that. I'm trying to set this up. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then he drops a mill and I mill like half my library. You know I'm what? Like, Let's do that. Ew, gross. What if it's murdered? Murder. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Murder is the case that they gave me. Good God. Uh, oh, shit. You know what? We're just going to sit here for a minute. Because I kind of want to see what that. got. That's what I thought. Wait. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Let's do... Ooh. What you got? Uh, there's, a, you... there's a veto out there, man. I know there's a veto out there. We're going to have some fun with veto. Oh, we're going to steal some veto. <laughs> That's fine. You can have them. Uh, maybe. Uh, see, now you're going to pull some shit out like that. All right. This is what we're going to uh... do. <laughs> well i want it <laughs> that's that's gonna mess up a lot of things that i wanted to do <laughs> but you know what not that much are you sure yep i mean i kind of do have another idea in mind <laughs> is it it yep <laughs> is it that possibly uh all right let's do you know what let's do that so how long have you been playing Magic? Let's 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 get the questions rolling here because we always talk about stupid bullshit. Oh um, my god. Um uh probably like 95, 96. Okay. So you started playing shortly after I did then. Uh sure. Cuz I started playing 94, I think it was. Um cuz I walked into my local game store. It was called the Red Dragon. And uh <laughs> her name is Mickey. And like uh, Mickey is like a cracked out, methed out Princess Leia. Like the braid sideways on her head. It's fucking great. Oh you dick <laughs> How did Go I know you're gonna play that card? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh shit. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I think the first. I think the first thing I bought was. Uh, I think it was revised. Oh really? Yeah, I believe so. When they used to come in the the little like uh, sixty deck, sixty card like they weren't even like decks. They were just sixty cards in a box. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That old brown box and the with the magic symbols kit. on it. Yeah, I think it was the yeah it was the starter. Yeah. So, like, I missed out on, like, Alpha and Beta and all that stuff, but. Might have actually been, might have even been a limited. I'm not sure. Yes. 
All right, there we go. So now we're going to do some crazy dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, and, and then throw all those cards away. No, no, I will not. <laughs> and then that. Come on, baby. Sure. I mean, I'll throw them all away. Just give me a minute. Uh, discard 15 cards. Okay, so I don't need that. I uh, don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, see, why you got to make this so difficult? Because I got to make it so difficult. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to get rid of lands. Um... It's kind of my thing. <laughs> you don't need those. We'll throw them away. Why not? Yeah, get rid of those. Um... Damn. Uh, how many more fucking cards do I need to get rid of? <laughs> All <Really>? of them. <laughs> um, ah, that's my jam right there. I got to keep that one. Okay. Uh, fuck it. We'll do that. And we'll do that. I probably just gave you like wind condition and everything else. Oh, you totally you know did. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have you have the mana to play it. I know that's what makes it difficult for throwing this shit away. Um, damn. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to figure it out. There we go. All right, cool. Oh yeah, you totally give me win condition. Oh motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait till you see the shit I pull out my hand right now. You know what? Good game. I'm going to call it now. All right. Good game. <laughs> I thought I was being smart. I was not being smart. I was the opposite. <laughs> uh, say goodnight, Gracie. Smart. I had dumps in the brain. My brain, sometimes it has the dumps. Oh, this is not going to be. This is not going to be good. Oh, this is worse. Well, good night, Gracie. Immediate regret. <laughs> I regret all my decisions I just made. <laughs> I regret every one of those decisions. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a second try. Good play, though. Good play. <laughs> well, that's what it could have been worse. Yeah. Oh no, no, it couldn't have. <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, but no, that I remember the starter kits because walking in with uh, meth head Leia. Um. <laughs> and wait, she talked with a list. Wait, wait, wait. Which is great. Who? So the owner of the Red Dragon. It, okay. She, we her name is Mickey, but I can't remember like her full name was. But we would make her Mickey by making her add up all of the shit that we get because I was huge in the Dungeons and Dragons back then. Okay. So I was just like, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna do this, and I would buy a bunch of, um, uh, was it um version two, or. Uh, of uh, D and D books because it was the only place that had it, and she'd be like, you know, there's this new oh like two two point five yeah, yeah two point five I think it was two point oh or they, no they still had like uh, the one point oh like the original weird hardcover books, and uh, we played on that and it was the only place that literally uh, distributed uh, D and D stuff because all the other stores just they didn't have that and they're you know a game store back then was almost unheard of, right. No, that needs to go away. So. Oh, was my... that the one you wanted to get rid of? <laughs> no, but I have a backup plan. So she's like, hey, there's this new card game called Magic the Gathering. You should take a look at it. It's got some really cool art. Only with a really bad lisp. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Let's do it. And. um, <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Fuck it, we're in a swing. And uh, I was like, what the hell is this? So she like opened up like one of the little, it looked like a, like the Dragon Shield card cases. That's kind of what it looked like. And I want to say it was a starter kit, but whatever. She's like, check, okay. check this out. And so she opened it up and there's like lands and there's like all these other cards and shit in there. And I'm like. They had the really cool art back then too. Right. And I'm like digging the art. I'm going, this is so freaking cool. And she's, uh, she's like, well, these are, I think it was like 20 bucks at the time or 15 bucks at the time. I don't even remember. 
but it was like stupid cheap. And I'm like, okay, so I got 20 bucks for D and D or I have, uh, 20 bucks for this thing that I've never played before. Right. And I was like, well, fuck it, whatever. Let's do that. So try, try something new. <laughs> right. Well, and she's like, Hey, tell you what, if you go in, cause, uh, they were doing like, uh, it was, um, uh, uh, a sealed draft or something like that. I can't remember. It was something I forgot what they called it. But it was what they called it before what the hell it became, um, uh, uh, like draft as we know it. Uh, and what she, they were doing is they were selling them for, I think like 10 bucks or eight bucks. No, it was eight bucks. That's what it was. So they were selling them for like eight bucks. If you got into this competition, because everybody was given uh, a deck to uh, build this. And then whoever won got like an extra, uh, 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 sealed pack because that's the thing is it was a starter deck so you got this you had potentially all the cards that you needed and there was a shit ton of lands that they had so we we played this game never met these people before in my life and there was like a handful of um nice <laughs> oh that's too funny uh we're gonna go with this because just because i want that protected um and this was like, I think it was the summer of 94. I want to say it was the summer of 94. Uh, and I was like, well, fuck it. Why not? So I spent like the next three hours trying to learn this game. Cause this is what was really cool. They had like all of the really cool inserts to teach you how to, to play the game and like a bunch of different advertisement stuff. Uh, back when Motherfucker. You know, wizards actually gave a shit. They actually had like, yeah, they had like these big fold out things that actually gave you and like little booklets that had the, all the instructions and right. stuff like that. Right. Like how the lands worked, what it, it took to, to go through and build a deck. So I spent like the next three hours learning how to build this stuff and actually playing the game with people that I'd never met before. Yep. And I was like, fuck it. Let's see how this works. Well, <laughs> all of that um, process <laughs> ended up. Uh, having me win the tournament. And I was like, this is kind of cool. So I got these cards in another set that I had, I had won or no, it was two starter sets. That's what it was. Yeah. Cause if you won, you got two, two deck build thing, starter decks. <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah, that's kind of cool. So I went home and I'm by myself and I'm going through all of this stuff. And I'm just like, this is really weird. I have this new game that nobody's really ever heard of. And how do I play? Well, then I go to school and I'm hanging with the nerds because I didn't really have a click per se. Because, well, when you stick out, when you're a, a nerd and a D&D &D freak, nerd. you don't really have a whole lot of friends. Yeah, I've been there, done that. So... One of the <laughs> the funny things about that, uh, you know what? We're just going to play this. Uh, yes, let's do that. Is it going to do the thing? Yes. Um, oh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to draw into. Yeah! Whoa! Look at that. Papa's got a brand new bag. Ba -da 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 -da. How? Uh, we're going to decline that. And then just swing because that's game. Good game. Oh, wow. Is that two back to back? Uh, I believe so. What the shit? That flew by. So, yeah, I go to school and find out that these other nerds that I'm hanging with um, are playing this game and have been playing this game. We're going to go back into uh, best of three. And they're, they're building all of these decks and stuff. And I'm going... How do you guys know about that? Because, like, back then, it was like a dirty little secret between nerds. Yeah, it totally was. And it only been out for, like, a year and maybe uh, maybe a half, a year and a half? Because everything maybe. got started in 93. And then, like, a full year later in 94, in the summer of 94, which I don't even remember what set it was, but I remember uh, the next summer 
being just so engrossed because finding out that the set that I was really addicted to was Urza Saga. Because the art was so cool and the cards were so fucking broken. Because <laughs> you can do some dumb shit with the cards in Urza Saga. Oh, God, yeah. And I just, every time we would do a draft, I'm like, yeah, let's do this, you know? Because that was back when the cards were like 250 275 a pack. They, they were cheap. And I mean, not that they've really gone up that much. Considering. <laughs> well, right. But back then it was totally different because nobody was playing the game. Oh, good God. Yes, I am keeping that. Yeah, you should. Wow. It's a good call. Wait till you see the replay on this. You're going to be like, dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the replay on this. You're going to be like, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, it was so much fun. Um, getting into this. And that's the thing is like, I was talking on, uh, the show with, M, uh, uh, Mr. DJ long here. And you guys have so many different fucked up names to remember, which is so fucked up. But, uh, yeah. Glad to hear it. <laughs> well, trying to remember everybody's name and I already have like the whole brain trauma, head injury thing. I'm like, like a, like a goldfish guy. with a head injury kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Which was so funny. I totally so understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do I... Yes, we're going to do that. Go away. The thing out of there. Bye-bye. Don't manatize me. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> You're doing one even worse. <laughs> I'm going to one-up manatize. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, mm, you know what? We're going to do this. Just because. Ah, oh, shit. Totally. What you going to do? Misplay. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, um, I'm okay with a misplay. We were talking about that because, I mean, that was one of the things is being in Magic. I've bought and sold cards I don't even know how many times. Because, you know, when you're doing dumb stuff and you have to pay bills and raising kids and this, that, and the other thing. And you've accrued yep. quite a collection. And then you realize, yep. oh, these actually have some pretty significant value. <laughs> I think it's when you actually realize these things have a lot of value is when it's like, ah, yeah. it, like that's like that. Oh, moment. What? And I, I still haven't got to that. Oh, moment. But yeah, here's the thing. If I had half of the cards from any of the revised alpha beta and we talked about that. Like we built decks and like literally yep. our cards had rubber bands around them. And yep. just, well, like when you do the, the bridge shuffle, because pff, nobody else is going to be playing them. I'm never getting rid of them. Yep. It drives Dave crazy. I love doing it. <laughs> but that's the thing is nobody knew magic was going to go anywhere. No. So we, no, it, we, we never knew it had any value. No, we were just like, we bought these cards. I'm going to play the crap out of you. Yeah. We didn't give two shits about it. Like, dude, my, I think it was like two months of playing this, a uh, couple of starter decks that I got. And that was that like, these cards were straight up gnarly looking one. <laughs> Cause I didn't put sleeves on them. I literally just kept them in the box that I originally got. And beat the shit out of these cards and it was so much fun because it was about the gathering yes that's what we did man and i wish so many people understood that now because you know what yeah i had to laugh they were talking about all kinds of other crazy shit uh oh yes i can do that and you oh i can and i will <laughs> oh that's pretty i like that i like that a lot i like that too <laughs> uh, i need it i needed the land yeah i know damn it but no, that's, I understand. Ah, oh, you bastard. You would drop that. <laughs> of course I would. And I ain't got shit to combat against it. 
You want to see the one card that could have possibly do something with if I had the mana available to do anything? Because that's game. <laughs> you don't know that's game. Oh, that's game. That is straight up game. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh, I know that. Let's see. You can top deck. Uh, nope, because... Oh, that's right. You don't have trample. But you do have double strike, which... Yep, that's the thing. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Not a fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Look. And I can't do fuck all about it. <laughs> yeah, but look what I can do. <laughs> look what I can do. <laughs> look what I can do. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I... I can't tell you how many times we've sat down, good God, just in the past 10 years of me getting back into it, for the most part, uh, fairly heavy, and just getting three, four, five, six packs and drafting on those, and there's four or five of us playing, and just beating the shit out of each other with some stupid ass jank deck that we built that we drafted into. Some of those, some of those old decks to us, like so dumb. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> well, you know those three packs that they sell at like uh, pretty much any drugstore, Rite Aid, um, all uh, Walgreens. Uh, what's the other one? Um, oh fuck, I can't remember. Um, yeah, pick any freaking drugstore or pharmacy place, right? And they sell these three packs where it you have like the uh, foil promo and then you get three random packs of whatever. Um, oh, I got to do two. God, gross. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, 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 I know what he's talking about. So we would get those and like we'd go in and uh, if you had like... <laughs> Take note, kids. If you're by a wall, uh, uh, a Walgreens or a Rite Aid, you can sign up for this program that gets you points based on purchases. So you can go in and buy one of these packs. I think they were like nine or ten bucks or something, like for three packs and a promo card, which is not a bad so, deal. Yes, it's actually not bad. But um, and here's the thing: so I would go in and buy like uh, three or four of those packs. And normally they would be like 40, 50 bucks with tax included and all this other crazy stuff, right? I would only end up spending like 25 bucks. Because the, the, the values card or the loyalty card or whatever. Right. You get your loyalty points. And it was just stupid. So I was getting all these cards and it was so great because I'd be like, hey, go there, put it on my number. You go there, put it on. Because it's all punched in by your phone. You got the little... the. Uh, like the little gas voucher thing. Yep. So, yeah, you're racking up some serious points. So if you're getting people to go through and play and draft, like it became so freaking cool. And I'm gonna take six to the face. Um, <laughs> to, the, to the face. Damn it. Ooh. Can I? No, I don't have the mana. God, no. Damn it. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, I like to hear that. Oh God. This game is going to end really fucking quick. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, cats and kittens, pay attention. Go to any pharmacy or uh, Walgreens or Rite Aid and sign up for those things because they do save you a shit ton of money, not only on magic cards, but on anything else, razors, supplements, you name it. And they add up quick. And they, they totally do. Like, it was great. We went and did, uh, we pulled, like, all of our money together one time, right? And we went and bought all of the three packs, all of the single packs. Uh, and I want to say there was the, uh, you, you know, those, uh, the multicolor, I don't even know what the hell they were, but they were just, they had like all of one color and they maybe came with a rare and a shit ton of, um, uh, uh, <sighs> Narf, uh, the, that's game. Uh, God, they they brought them out. I want to say it was Theros when it was like a, it was like a starter pack, but it wasn't. Where I, the theme boosters, that's what it was. Um okay. Yeah, like Dave's cracked a bunch of them and he's like they're absolute shit, yep. but we're going to give them away anyways. 
So we would, we, I think we bought like four or five of those. Well, anyways, it ended up before my points was added in was like, I think 145 bucks plus tax just in magic cards at Walgreens, right? After my points, <laughs> I only ended up paying 48 bucks. <laughs> so take note, cats and kittens. That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> those cards was like those cards were like overpowered. OP. They oh, were just OP. Just just dumb. Well, and here's the thing is the receipts that you get, you get like, I think it's 25 bucks off a $75 purchase or total or whatever it is. And you can use more than one receipt to do that. So I handed in a, a fucking hand. Hand in these every things. one of them. And only spent 48 bucks on for cost. 140 i think it was like 149 dollars and like 57 cents at the end of the day nice nice and it was great because that was the one that i wanted to straight up dick punch my friend because he pulled and this is when uh they were putting in like the uh uh amen cat hour of devastating your wallet according to the great solari and devastating uh, your wallet what was it Kaladesh, I think it was. When they had the uh the the uh, what uh, was it? Incantations or not incantations, uh the fucking the lottery chase cards. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? The lottery cards? Yeah, yeah, in those sets yeah. where they were like all gold or in the I don't remember the sets, but yeah. Yeah. So he pulls one of those. Uh and it was like $175 at the time. And I was like, Yikes. dude. I will buy that card off you or at least trade the card. And he's like, well, I kind of want to keep it from my collection. Two weeks later, he ends up selling it. Oh, wow. I'm like, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it was pristine. I'm like, I will give you a sleeve and I will give you a hard case to go with all of that. <laughs> this is not the best opening I've ever had. <clears throat> Same. I'm kind of riding the struggle bus here. I'm glad to hear you're uh, you're dealing with the same problems. Um, yeah. Wait till you see the shit that comes out of my hand. <laughs> Wait till you see the shit that comes out of my hand. Oh dear God! What do I do here? You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do this. Just because. Sure. Oh, God, this is not going to end well. Whatever. <laughs> but did you die? <laughs> uh, no. Oh. God, I hate that card. <laughs> uh, yes. Ooh, yes. I didn't misplay that. I just played it backwards. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? You know what? Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> I thought I just fucked myself. Now, mind you, I played all of this. Ah, uh, you suck. <laughs> um, good choice. Oh god, uh, we're gonna do that. Sure. And um, is that an enchantment? Ah, oh, yep. shit. Damn it. Misplay. <laughs> when you look, watch the playback on this, you're going to be like, dude, you're totally shit in the bed. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, collecting cards and doing just, oh, wait a minute. Can I get away with that? Oh, I can get away with that. Hello. Ah, thank you. <laughs> that wasn't a misplay. I get more land. Yes, you get more land. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. But yeah, I look for deals like that all the time. And like the, the collections of stuff, dude, I got some crazy good deals over last summer for uh, buying people's collections. Like there was this one. It was so great. It was a, a four-row box because I went out garage sales and estate sales and stuff like that and uh, walked up and I'm like, hey, y'all have like any magic cards or whatever? So the wife elbows the husband and she's like... Look at the cards. You forgot to put them out. And I was like, all you right. You might have some cards. <laughs> so I start 
you know, thumbing through these things. And he's like, well, I was kind of asking uh, uh, about a hundred bucks for him. I'm like, you know, the cards I'm seeing in here aren't exactly in the greatest condition. But right. I, I'm seeing a couple that, you know, are. You Might know, be t- worth something. Right. And I'm like, well, you take 75 for the whole box. He's like, uh, and then his wife elbows him again. <laughs> He's like, you'll take 75. <laughs> so she's like, yes, he'll take 75. And I'm like, sweet. So get that. Come home. Start pricing this shit out. Here's the fucking best part about this, right? I pull uh, one card. That's worth 75 bucks paid for the whole box. I want to say it was one of the, uh, um, oh God, we just had a set, um, in, in, uh, uh, standard. It was the, uh, the Asian set. What the hell was it? Kamigawa. Kamigawa. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I want to say it was from the Kamigawa block, the first one. And it was one of the, uh, lands. It was like 75 bucks at the time. It's gone up since. Because it's not been um, uh, 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 reprinted. So I was like, hell yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> and start pricing this stuff out. And I only kept cards that were two bucks and up, right? Take a wild guess how much uh, the cards that were worth two bucks and up ended up totaling for this whole box. Oh, probably over 100 uh, <laughs> ah, you dick! <laughs> um, I hate that card. When it was all said and done, it totaled to like, um, I think it was like eight hundred and sixty-five bucks. And I was like, "Well, selling that card, selling that card," because <laughs> I've got fifteen thousand of this card. Uh, and it was great because I kept a lot of the big money cards. Motherfucker. <laughs> I could have done it another way. Now I'm just going to sit because I don't have really anything I can do. I mean, I've got options, but I don't have options. I had options and then you killed them. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Not today, Shaitan. <laughs> Is this your squirrel deck? Maybe. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, and it's uh motherfucker. <laughs> I'll take that if you don't mind. It's having a really hard time tonight. <laughs> a little performance anxiety there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Need some Viagra. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, man, this is so great. I. And it had been a few years since I had found a score like that. Ah, uh, you've totally monetized me. Really? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I ain't hating on you. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> but it was great you because... Know, you know what? Let's get this over with. What are you doing? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Wait. Oh, that... Oh, it gave you a plus one, plus one for each creature I controlled. Which Gross. was none. You know what? We're going to cycle that just because I need something else. For real, another land. That's some bullshit. Um, eh, well, oh, this is not going. This is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay, I won one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was great because I sold the cards that I didn't want or need. Got some bills paid and then added... Uh, some more of my collection because it was really cool. <clears throat> the guy actually had a, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, an unglued set uh, oh, pack that was opened, but the cards were put back into it because it looked like he just opened it, looked at the cards, and then just put them back in the pack and folded it back up. Wow. And I was like, dude, I love these sets because it, they're, they're the cards are so dumb. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like super broken. <laughs> but it's fun as shit to play if you're just playing these cards. Yes. And I so wish more people uh, want, I like, I wish they had this shit on Arena that just had the uncards. That you could just do some st- 
stupid shit. Because like squirrels, what was it? Uh, was it un? Was it unhinged? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Because there was unglued, unhinged, and then unstable was the last one. I think that was the one that. I really got you. Books. I love <laughs> I love the uh the full art lands, which was great because that was it made it stand out. Cause when you went back, they weren't doing the whole full art lands like every other set. No. They were doing them uh sparingly and for like specific sets, like the unsets, which was so much fun. Because that made them more rare. It made them more significant. Right. And I think that's what made them so valuable is, yeah. is they weren't doing as, as often as, as I don't want to say as they are now, but like now they just, they kind of overprint a lot of stuff. Yeah. It kind of gets stupid. <laughs> it, it does. Oh, and it yeah. devalues everything. Oh God. Yeah. It, well, t- I'm not going to be uh, an old man yelling at clouds, but in the same token, it's just, it's kind of dumb. You know what? We're going to do that just because I need some more land. What is this nonsense? Oh, okay. <laughs> the restoration of, uh, <sighs> do the thing. A ganjo? Yeah. No. Actually, I haven't seen that one in play yet. Well, it's got some broken abilities once you get it off the ground. But it's getting transformed. <laughs> Vigilant. Oh, I, I see. I yeah. see what you got going on there. You see that? Yeah. But that's what I loved about playing the unsets. Oh, you got the chitter splitter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's such a fun card. Uh, let's go with, uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do that. Ah, yes. There we go. Okay. So we'll do that. And then we will. Oh, well played. Well played. Good sir. Uh, let's do, we'll do that. Cause that's going to get out of control really quickly. What? Yep. <laughs> I don't have the mana for it to get out of control. Yeah, you still got the squirrels though. <laughs> Stupid acorn. <laughs> that is a fun card to play. Authority of the Councils. Oh, I love that one. It's one of my favorites. What well, and that's what I thought was really funny because it slows haste right the fuck down. <laughs> yep. Like you yep. do what? Nope. No, you're not. Not today. <laughs> you were gonna you were gonna wait, what? No. <laughs> How about new? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh okay. Sure, I'll bite. What you got? I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why did I have to spend all my mana? Uh, gross. We'll do that, and then we'll do that and gain some life. Cause you know Me too. Duffing things. Uh do I, I gain have... life too. Ooh, I do have enough mana to do it. Hell yeah. Ho ho. Look what uh, I can well, do. Cord. Look what I can do. Stupid acorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh by the way that was a fucking blast uh playing on chill stream uh was it last night fuck it was last night good lord it was last night yeah <laughs> sorry yesterday was a blur between the farmer's market and tescola palooza oh, no, no no it wasn't yesterday because yesterday was no it was, was it? oh my god it was yesterday <laughs> jesus christ wait was it yesterday shit what was yesterday yesterday was saturday yeah, yeah, it was Saturday. Good It God. was Saturday. Jesus. What Neither one of us know. <laughs> now you're making me forget. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Yeah, right. Welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> Welcome to Jerks Online. <laughs> Wait a minute. I said that wrong. 
Welcome to welcome jerks. <laughs> welcome to MTG Magic Jerks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it was uh it was so fun uh playing uh my Kraken deck and just like zero to the face, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so great. Am I actually going to be able to play the cards and do the things? Probably not, because you're still gaining life, and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what I'm trying to do either. Three, five. There we go. <laughs> now it's getting dumbs. Where the hell did I get that from? Oh, is it getting to the dumps? That's where that came from. Duh. Okay. <clears throat> I completely forgot I had that card because I forgot when it transforms. Like okay, a duh. Gross. That needs to go but away. Um, can I do the thing? Ooh, I can do the can thing. Can you do the thing? I can do the thing. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you can have that. Is that lethal? No. No, 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 I'm for you. Six and six. Okay, yeah, that's no. lethal if you do that. Fuck. Sure. Um. <clears throat> damn. Good Let's game. <laughs> yep. That that's that's a good game. Uh no. Let's go there. How you gonna kill it, man? Oh, is it lethal for me? Like <laughs> That's why I was looking at yours, because I'm like six and six is twelve, and then yeah. You kill that, and then you pump the other two, which makes it, yeah, that's totally lethal now. <laughs> then I do that. Yep. <laughs> 16 to the face. <laughs> Stupid <right>. squirrels. Stupid squirrels. <laughs> oh, that was only first game. Yeah, well, you've got one, and I've got one, so now we got to do the tiebreaker. But yeah. Oh, shoot, yeah, that... I, I fucking loved being able to play last night and just jump on the last minute. Cause dude, I was just fucking beat like that heat. I mean, I know I talked about it a little bit on uh, the, the stream last night, but whew, I got my first full meal in at like three o'clock and it was, okay. it was radishes and sugar snap peas, which not complaining at all. That's not that's not a meal. But here's the thing, though. Prior to that, I had water, and I think it was like a, a protein bar. And out also in, not a meal, right? <laughs> out in the middle of this brutal ass heat, and uh, I drank. Good lord! Well, I drank probably about seven of these. You can see it on the camera. Uh, and then ah, oh, you. Drop down that authority again. Fuck. Um, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> and uh, the like the distilled purified water or whatever it was, like the the forty pack you get from Walmart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably drank about ten of those, so I was hydrated. I just hadn't really ate anything all day. Right. So I was starting to get a bit. <laughs> Oh, you're getting, like, the hangry? Well, no. Like, I was getting lightheaded because I had no sustenance in me. Other than a protein bar and, I think, like, a radish from the farmer's market. Or, no, it was, it was like, a, a handful of uh, uh, carrots that the lady gave me because I helped unload corn. Uh, and I was just like, this is fucking nuts. So Heather showed up, and I'm, like, setting up the canopy. Meanwhile, just demolishing... The uh the the bag of radishes and sugar snap peas that she brought, and she's Eating like, "You good?" Veggies. Oh, dude, it was great. I like, I think I ate probably about ten radishes, and these radishes were fucking huge, man. I'm like, this is just fucking nutty. <laughs> Full farmer farmers market. Oh yeah, yeah, it was 
freaking crazy. So I'm sitting there just smashing the shit out of this. And then like probably three hours later, she's like, hey, is that a taco truck? And I'm like, there's a taco truck here. <laughs> Wait, so did you? Did someone say tacos? And it was great. So she's like, yeah, I want this, this, and this. Go get whatever you want. And I was like, cool. So I walk up there. And apparently I look like one of the uh, people that these ladies knew. Because it's, it's like two chicks in a truck. Which I'm like, there's a punchline oh. here somewhere. <laughs> you, just, you got that like familiar face. Right. And the, the one lady's like, oh, my God, it looks like Dante. And I'm like, I'm not Dante. <laughs> I'm, Who is this Dante you speak of? I'm Tony. See the name tag? Tony? Well, and it was funny because they were trying to get their canopy set up so their customers weren't baking in the sun. So I helped them get their canopy set up. Oh, God, didn't I get rid of that? <laughs> you did. Uh, so... Anyways, got the canopy set up, order the food. And she's like, hey, don't worry about it. I'll knock half off because you help us set up the canopy. I was like, fuck, yeah. And then they gave me like extra cilantro, olives, and sour cream on my tacos. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> misplay. <laughs> ah, it's a total misplay. Oh, damn. I hate it when that happens. Oh, That's God, right. that really slows shit down. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not lethal, but it's pretty damn close. Yeah, bring me down to one. Yep. Boof. Bip. Bam. Yeah, and then I don't think I can defend after that. Uh, you can it's the flying. Do some pretty brutal damage. Yeah, it's the flying. I'm yeah. not going to be able to. <sighs> so I smashed two incredible tacos with some incredible rice and beans. And that's when the lightheadedness and the headache finally went away. <laughs> I'm just like, mental note, bring more than just uh, water. Eat food. <laughs> <laughs> but that, you know, that's the thing is I was out in the heat all goddamn day at the farmer's market. Because I was up at the farmer's market from like 6 a.m. to 2 Oh, yeah. And I was like... That, that'll burn you out. I'm good. I got this. I can do a thing. I can do a thing? <laughs> I'm like I'm like 20 years old again, right? Right, yeah. No, forget about the fact that I just... I can stay out in a heat wave for 12 <laughs> hours. <laughs> well, you know, and half of the problem, and you know this, because you've dealt with people um, doing dumb shit. No, half, say it ain't so. <laughs> Half of the struggle is people are dehydrated, right? Absolutely. Uh, your... I'm not gonna I'm not doing another challenge. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna call it for the night, but uh, all right. All right. So let's